Hey, third grade. Happy e-learning snow day. I hope you were able to get some outside snowy fun time. And if you have some time to do some uh, technology, that's wonderful. I've got a really good computer science lesson that's coding. We haven't used code.org code in a while. Obviously, we can't bring those uh, chain reaction kits home. So we're going to do some code.org, some coding. And code.org can be a little tricky sometimes, but what's great is they have some hints. Um, you can just kind of work at your own pace and just do the best you can do. You're going to really like this lesson. And if you have some time and you're able to, I would love you maybe to even teach somebody at home something about coding from this lesson. It's a good one. It's one that I made when my daughter was sick a couple weeks back. So it's so good. Uh, and you haven't had a chance to use it. I thought, let's use that lesson again. So enjoy coding and happy e-learning snow day. So let me review how to access it and I'll show you a little bit about this lesson that we're doing. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to Canvas in Rapid Identity. And it logs you in. And then you look for third grade technology. And you scroll down until you find your teacher's class. Mrs. Adams would be right here. Then when you go to Mrs. Adams' class, or wh whoever your teacher is, uh, you look for your name, and that's Sammy, and that's Jovi, they're my dogs. And if you've forgotten your picture password, you'll go to Google Drive through Rapid Identity. At the beginning of the school year, we made a third grade technology folder. And in that folder, we made a passwords document. And in Mrs. Adams' class, Sammy, my dog Sammy, his picture password is that three-eyed alien. So when I click on our coding page and I click on Sammy, I'm going to look for the three-eyed alien right there. Then I click sign in. We're going to work today on lesson, uh, I'm sorry, lesson nine, loops in Ice Age. So it's not a stickers lesson after all. I apologize for that. Um, it's, it's about loops. So lesson nine, loops and ice age. Help scrat across the slippery ice to get the acorn. Okay. So here we've got all of these blocks that we could use and we have the pink repeat block. So we see scrat to get the acorn needs to move one, two, three, four, five. I could say move forward five times, but a faster way would be repeat five times, move forward. So this is saying when I click run, Scrat's gonna move forward five times, which is way faster than one, two, three, four, five. I could use that program, which would work, but this program is way better because it's faster, it's shorter, it takes less effort. Let's watch. One, two, three, four, five. So that works, great. But professional coders would want to use this program because it's way quicker. One, two, three, four, five. When I say quicker, he still gets to the acorn the same amount of time but it's way faster as a coder to do the repeat block as opposed to taking a five blocks. Let's look at level two and then I'll have you work on the rest of lesson nine on your own. So here, Scrat can go forward one, two, three, four, five times. So we'll say move forward five times using the repeat block. And he's not going to turn right, he wants to, on him to turn left. So I'll go forward five times and turn left. Let's see where he is after that. Snap it in and run it. One, two, three, four, five. And then he turns left. And then, <laughs> then you need to move forward once, twice, right? So I'll say repeat two times, move forward. See how this works. 
One, two, three, four, five. Turn left. One, two, boom, you got it. Awesome. Then you'd click continue. And then you'll see level three is a video about loops. And then you'll keep working on lesson nine until you finish all 12 levels. And then there's lesson extras, which is the flag. You can click on the flag. And there's some challenges you could always work on, which are fun. If you finish all of lesson nine and you work on the lesson extras, you can then click on the go down, the arrow. And then you can work on lesson 10, drawing shapes with loops. Okay, boys and girls, do your best, have fun, help each other out, and enjoy working on coding with loops.